How's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. Right now I am traveling down to South Texas because I had my buddy Cliff. He reached out to me. He owns some land down in Refugio. He says he had some feral hog issues and he reached out to me, wanted me to help him eradicate him tonight. So that's a plan. I'm super, super excited because you know I've never actually killed uh, a wild feral hog yet. So this hopefully will be my first I'm so, so happy that you guys can join me today with all that's been going on with the coronavirus and stock markets and everything that's been so stressful. I'm glad you can join me today because I'm going to take you guys on a trip so you guys stay tuned. Hey, how you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, I have made it to my buddy Cliff's ranch. I want you to meet Cliff, man. He reached out to me because he felt sorry that I couldn't kill my first hog, and hopefully he'll uh, lead me today. But what's up, Cliff? Hey, how's it hey, going? Thanks man? for letting me come by, man. Hey. Seriously, I'm no looking problem. forward to it. Hey, hey, tell me, tell tell the tell the viewers about your ranch a little bit. How big is it? How many acres? Well, I got 44 acres here, and uh -huh. we kind of I manage it with my own deer and hogs and turkeys. Okay. So I got plenty of turkeys. So lots of hogs. We've uh, they've actually they're starting to come back in. Okay. We had a uh, I don't know it was a phase where they kind of died out, but now they're starting to Sweet. come okay. back in in big droves. So Sweet. we have a pretty good chance. I think we might walk in on them tonight. Okay. I don't know. And these feral hogs, they damage your land pretty good. Ooh yeah yeah they <laughs> they make it tough to shred. Really. Yeah okay. yeah so. Okay. So it's good to er eradicate some of them, right? Try to get oh them off yes your land. yeah it is good to you know. Get them, get them off, and they're just—they become a nuisance, you know. So, gotcha. but uh, yeah, that's the—that's the trick to get them out and let my deer eat. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. We're going to get ready. We're going to head out. No time wasted. I just actually pulled up. I'm going to start loading my firearm, and then uh, we're going to jump on a little buggy and head out to the stand. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll able to see them tonight. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Just, you know, just the day is right. Yeah. But it should get pretty good too. Ladies and gentlemen, there are pigs over there. 
about, I would count about 10 of them. I would say about 100 yards. Let me show you. Hopefully you can see it. That's 250 yards. 250 yards way the heck over there. They're feeding right now. A bunch of them. I don't think I have a shot. I don't think I can reach that far because my thermal scope is low quality, so I can't. Here you go. I'll have to wait up. <laughs> okay, well, we might just use this rifle. There's so many of them. Yeah. Holy shit. I don't even know which one to shoot. Pick one that stays still. Wow. I'm just like, I'm like fascinated. <laughs> There's so many of them. Yeah. Okay, so aim right at the ear, right? Aim at the ear. Yeah, put it, yeah, put it in his ear. What about bullet drop? Since they're that far out, it's gonna drop a little. So I aim at the top of the ear. Okay. Going for a double. Um, I don't know. Uh, like they're all so bunched up together. Yeah. It's hard to. It's hard to pick one out. Got him! I got him! You got him! I got him! <laughs> got him! Yes! <laughs> there you go. Oh my God! My ears are ringing. I got him. There's another one running crazy back there. Pump another shell in there just in case he jumps up. Sometimes I put it on save just in case he gets up. Let's go look at him, man. Give him a little bit because sometimes if they're... Wow, uh, one shot, one kill. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, I can't believe it. I got him. And I didn't even use my rifle. This is Cliff's rifle. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> yes. Here we go guys, check it out, my first hog kill ever. <laughs> oh man. Cliff's gun is pretty pretty accurate. Look at that. Look at these chunk look at these. He's, he's a small yes, boar. Yeah. But he got some uh, chompers on them. He don't stink. Yeah, I you thought you said that? they I thought you said they stink. This one don't stink. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Bleed a whole lot. That's a good thing. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Go. Man. So usually they, you said they stink? Yeah. He doesn't. I mean, he's. That's what. That's how, That's a good thing. That means he'll eat good. He don't have that strong musk. Musk. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go for 30 minutes. Man, that's awesome, man. I got my first pig. Have to take an ice chest to go get ice. All right, guys. I'm super, super excited. That I finally, finally got my first wild feral feral pig kill. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a catch clean cook for you guys. I've never done this before, but Cliff right here, he was actually going to be a chef, believe it or not. He can cook and he's going to make some dinner for us with the hog I just killed. So you guys stay tuned. It's going to be really, really good. So this back is the part that we're going to eat right here. What is this right. called? Tenderloin. Your back tenderloin. Track. Gotcha. Yeah. Why right. is this the best? Well, this is your back straight, your tenderloin's right on the back side of this one. But you gotta get it from the inside here. I found one tough son of a gun, aren't they? Alright guys, so uh, in the midst of uh, us dressing the hog that I killed earlier, we heard some more pigs down at a different feeder and I just took down two of them from how far is that from 200 about 200 yards with the 6.8 so uh, we're gonna let them bleed out a little bit and then we'll go check them out but <laughs> I got them on a good night man I can't believe it. I pro I think I hit two of them for sure I see two two markings on my thermal they are on the ground so if that's the case three kills a night <laughs> man it's it's it feels so good he's still up so we'll take him out we'll dispatch him so we have to cut this short. Sorry, guys. That 6.8 did some damage. That Hornady. Wow, it really. That was the first messed shot. Him. Yeah, that was a shot, and uh, it took him out. So, folks, I thought I killed two. I might have hit the other one, but he ran off the woods. I know I hit him because yeah. I, I saw him. I, I saw him blood, kill. Though. Yeah, he but couldn't. this guy right here, he. Uh, he caught the bullet. <laughs> yeah, he caught the bullet. He couldn't survive that Hornady. Uh, 120 gram, I believe. SST. 6.8 man and uh 
having a lot of fun tonight. We are eradicating these pests, and Cliff is happy. Right, Cliff? Yes. So I'm happy. <laughs> this this guy really stinks, though. Ooh, he <laughs> smells bad. Alright ladies and gents, you saw me take down that, my first hog ever, and I promise you guys, catch clean cook. My boy Cliff, he is cooking those back straps, man, so tell us, what exactly are you doing? Well, I soaked them in some buttermilk, uh -huh. and then I rolled them in some flour and we're slow frying them. Okay, is this one of the easier ways to cook hog? Yeah, it's probably one of the better best ways really really is the fried backstrap yeah you can't go wrong with the backstrap is it gonna be a gamey taste no probably not no you probably won't even realize the difference mm -hmm. the meat had no smell at all so nice mm -hmm. and this was the my first hog kill yeah. and we get to we get to uh, eat it and uh, enjoy it so I'm pretty excited this looks really really good do you have any marinade on the uh, the meat or you just put it yeah, in? yeah uh, I, I got a uh, Buttermilk and uh, eggs that I soak it in. We soaked it overnight. Hopefully, it get tender. Usually, I'll try to soak it for like two days when I cook it. So it's kind okay. of a rush, but it should still be pretty good. But no rub or anything like that. No, I put all my spice in. Uh, I put some in there. Salt, okay, pepper, gotcha. And then some in my flour. Ah, uh -huh, I see. Nice. Hey, boy. Can you smell my little Yorkie? We just flipped them over, folks. I am super, super, super hungry. <laughs> Alright guys, moment of truth. Here we go. Some of these are ready. Cheers. That's delicious. No gamey taste. Tastes like any other pork you get from the grocery store or restaurant. Hey, well done, Cliff. Thanks. Well done. That's how you do it, folks. You enjoy what God has given to us, has blessed us with, whether you catch or you kill, you harvest it. Enjoy Mother Nature. I'm hooked, man. I really love this hog hunting. Hope to do it again really, really soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Tell me what you think. You want to see more hunting content? You want to see more fishing content? Let me know, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.